that we are recording again. So, welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. We are playing Fable. You didn't miss anything. Oh, right. Yeah, you... I didn't steal anything. But there wasn't anything in there to steal. Ma'am. Ma'am. It's cool. You can turn me in. I will, I will pay the nothing because I didn't steal anything. Do you have until they get to a guard and report you until you're actually guilty of a crime? There we go. That's illegal. Ah, 750 gold. Eh, there you go. All right, damn, lady. <laughs> you got it. Seems a bit much to me, but okay. So you can just go buck wild, kill everyone in the town. If a house doesn't have anyone in it, the house then goes up for sale. You can then buy the house, rent the house out, and new people will move in. And then you are the landlord, and you make money. You can do the same thing with shops, and then the shops are cheaper for you, and you make money based off of how much they make. Oh, if you're really min-maxing this game, part of that is just killing everyone. game rewards in some cases in some cases being a good person but more often than not being evil or selfish is more beneficial for you short term and long term ah, there is an important quest card ah, the guild for yes you. yes game i know it teaches some contradictory lessons in morality Hello. Oh, hello. Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Have you ever tried blue mushrooms? I've never connected. Oh, Cyril. Oh, right. He wants me to send you a love letter. Then I come down here, give you the love letter. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I either lie and say it's for me and Cyril's heart is broken, or I say it's from him. And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm remembering this. I'm remembering this. Windbreaker Rulebook, The Ugly Guide, Spiral Dementia Tattoo. Good theme going on with this house. The Sock Method. Nice. Nice. Yep, nothing weird going on in here. Didn't just toss the place. Nothing to see here hey, at all. Oh, hero! I could go. really use your help, sir. Yes, you could. Favorite NPC in the game. I run a harmless little chicken contest down on the beach, but I'm having a bit of ghost trouble. Some deceased chicken fancier, no doubt. The thing is, he's scaring all my punters away. <laughs> you couldn't, you know. You. Yes. Yes, I can. I will definitely help that out. I would kill to see the chicken. Chicken competition up and running again. Chicken kicking competition. Ahoy! That is a terrible kick. Ah! 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 Could it be that you be sent by the gods to lift me from my fierce torment? Sure. If it means I get to kick chickens, yes. My spirit dwells at the bottom of the sea. Gar! Oh, and my poor wife is left a destitute and a grieving. Ah! Oh, <laughs> she thinks I was but a simple fisherman and still be somewhere lost at sea. It may shock you to learn, dear friend, that I had a small side business in piracy. Ah, As is implied by the way that I talk. Treasure, next to the jetty on the western beach. If you want to use a spade to dig it up and give it my wife, I will reward you with plentiful riches, ye old sea dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you be in need of a spade, they be sold in town. How convenient. Yeah, I already have one. Uh, we have to go back to the jetty we were at before, at the south side of town, dig there. I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down there. Wait, why are you telling me that I could fish? Oh, but there's no special stuff to fish here. 
Oh, I'm remembering the fishing competition later on. Why can you talk to ghosts? Uh, you got rid of that ghost who, yet? I mean, ghosts are just accepted as being a normal thing here, right? They're annoying and people are afraid of them, but they're they're normal. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Weird world. <laughs> weird, weird world. So on this side of the jetty, were you saying? I honestly, yeah, it's right here. It's like what, a thousand gold? Five hundred. That's it. A mere five hundred gold. Now you can keep it and lie to the lie to the widow about it. Uh, but it's five hundred. Like we discovered before, it oh takes me goodness. about thirty seconds playing card this pairs to get that. Husband. So. I don't care. You say he saved it up by taking tourists out on his boat? Yup, tourists. Well, yes, I, I do remember seeing him take people on board. Well, they looked like bandits from a distance. Isn't that silly? How hilarious. I knew he really cared for me. He was such a good, honest man. Thank you so much. I will still pray to see him return safe one day. Right after I've done some shopping. I guess I'm wondering why the ghost didn't talk directly to his wife. Yeah, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> She's on the wrong beach, maybe. She says she comes to this beach every day and she hangs out here all the time. Maybe that's the problem. It's a really stupid fetch quest type thing. Like, it's supposed to be a morally Ooh, ambiguous or difficult on. moment. Like, ooh, do you give the widow back 500 gold even though he got the gold from being a pirate and doing bad things? Like... Sure, whatever. It's not like I need the money. You got rid of the have you got with Oh not yet. I need to talk to the ghost, I can talk to him, then I can kick chickens and celebrate the most patriotic pastime this game has to offer. Avast! Avast! Good. But before I leave, I shall keep my end of the bargain. Ah. Gar! The rest of the swag be buried under the axe of a statue in the local graveyard. Oh yeah. If it still be there, you're welcome to it. Now thank ye. Is it a silver key? Boy. I think it's a silver key. I cannot remember. Kick chickens. Yep. We'll we'll get there in a minute. We'll we'll get there. We're not there yet. Hence all these signs, chickens with targets on them. <laughs> it's a weird fable thing. You got rid of that ghost yet? I sure did, but I need to go dig up treasure in the graveyard. Nothing, nothing weird going on. Nothing weird at all. I love the little animated sprites on the map now. So, underneath the axe here. Is this dad? I think this is dad. Might not be. Silver key, yep. And an obsidian great axe. Pretty good. You're Pretty now good. renowned enough to use the scary laugh expression. Never have enough experience to level up. Oh, we we have plenty you have reached of experience. familiar status. Yep, we're now familiar level of renown. And I still haven't done any quests. I haven't absolutely had to do. You got rid of? Have you got rid of them yet? You have? Why? Capital, capital news. news. Come down and pay me and the chickens a visit if you like. I I would like. I would very much like. Our physique isn't high enough that we will do that good at this yet. You need to max out your some of your stats before you're really, really good at this. But by God, this, this is amazing. This contest is an outrage. Absolutely atrocious. It, have, have you seen what they do to chickens here? <laughs> Can I tempt you to a game of chicken kicking, sir? <laughs> you may. Ah, you may welcome, indeed. sir. Welcome. Might you be interested in a fine new sport? I call it chicken, chicken kicking. Kickin'. Invented it myself. All you gotta do is step into the ring and kick the feathery vermin into the scoring area. Oh, it's easy. 
<laughs> now my eyesight ain't what it used to be, but I can usually make out where they land. Mm -hmm. Want to give it a try? Hell yeah, I want to give it a try. Hey, this is the stupidest, weapon, sir, stupidest no side game. No spells allowed either. Wouldn't be very sporting now, would it? Only chickens, you know. Then we shall get started. Good luck, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm not on a timer, right? Oh yeah, the further you kick the chicken, the more points you earn. Except you want either on the far left or far right side. If you only kick it down the line, that's only 10 points. Got diagonal five rounds to accumulate points. God damn it, this game. Ding! Well done in a so what kind of way. Fuck you, a that's... center right mm, scores you 50 points. Mm, that was closer to 100, you bastard. The silver medal position. Yeah, a our physique isn't high enough to get to 50. the hundreds right now, but. Fuck. Pretty good and pretty bad. Pretty bad. A center right scores you 50 points. Pretty good and pretty bad. Pretty good and pretty bad. <laughs> 50, a center 50, right 50, scores 50. You 50 points. I can't hit the hundreds right now. At least I'm not doing that back way. The silver medal position, a center left scores you 50. 50. Holy moly, I thought chickens couldn't fly. Mm. We slaughter this man. This man is a saint. He is a goddamn innovator. I salute your chicken kicking abilities. Here's the chicken hat. I got the chicken hat. I forgot about this. Only one I had, too, so uh, don't be expecting to win any more hats. I was actually in it for and the I silver key, not the chicken hat. Chicken kicking, sir. Uh, 150 points for silver keys, so I actually have to do this again. Wow, oh, aren't you? Same rules as before, no weapon. Yep, yep, you got it, man. Hold up. Before we, before we engage in any more of this foul activity, we need to be properly outfitted for the job. There we go. Now, Chicken, if you would be so kind as to move... Yeah, 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 that's what I'm about. Well done, in a so what kind of way. A center right scores you 50 points. <laughs> the same chicken as before. Yeah, the chickens don't die or anything. This is, in real life, would be horribly immoral, but... There is an important question. A bit of a weakling. Front right for 25 points. Wah, wah. Close but no cigar, a center left scores you 50. They're very durable chickens. You know in the original, uh, in the Legend of Zelda games, if you attack ah, a chicken, they turn bad. into like a, a swarm of monsters, right? 50. They're cuckoos, but they're not. They're, they're chickens. They're called... Cuckoos? Cuckoo, cuckoo something. It's a, it's a trope in classic adventure games like this not that bad at all. chickens a are invincible. Right scores you 50 points. I don't really know where that comes from. <laughs> this fucking mask. An impressive display of chicken violence. Yay! There. <laughs> You've earned yourself a silver key. Oh, my last one too. No, that's all I was here for. Thank Can you. I tempt you to a game of chicken kicking, sir. No, no, you may not. Once used in the three-day ritual of worshippers of the Inc. chicken god Egtor, it is now more commonly seen on the heads of cheats and cowards as they are driven out of town, pelted with tofu sandwiches by angry villagers. <laughs> there, there we go. Now the chickens are fine. I don't, I don't know what that glowing is. Oh, that's from my sword earlier. Yeah, it's from that. But the animation just hung around. Oh. Oh, good day to you there, sir. I love how people fall in love with you when you do nothing to earn their love at all. Besides running around, kicking chickens, and digging up graves. And everything's closed. What do we have in the bar here? <laughs> oh, God, the fucking... Cupcake. I hate coin golf. I'm gonna play it. 
naturally. You're sure that at least one kid actually kicked real chickens after playing this? I mean, maybe? But I know plenty of kids who tried similar things before we're playing this. Country children are weird. I'm gonna start out with one coin as I try to remember how to play this game. Good for you. Oh god. It's pool. Piece. It's it's like really shitty pool. Um This mouse sensitivity though. Par is 13, a uh, 13 total, right? Yeah, okay, 13 total. This is not fun. This is pain. Good day. I hate this game. I think. Oh god, I need it. I need it over there. Fuck. It's so hard to tell how far it'll go. Like air hockey. Bad air hockey. Air hockey, you know, you have the, the feel of how hard you're hitting the puck. This, it's really hard to tell exactly how far it's gonna go based on how hard you're hitting it. Or even exactly where it's gonna go. Oh, like that. Fucking hell. And if it goes off the table, you have to restart the entire stupid game. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Nice to see you. It's good to have you around. Fuck. Chicken chasing very well that makes you a true hero. Chicken chasing makes you a true hero. Absolutely. Fuck everything. There we go. I. I That should do it, right? Oh, oh come on. Look at the chickens run. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, game. Yeah, this... This isn't problematic at all. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. The only reason I'm doing this is for the collectible doll. Because... I don't remember what happens when you get the entire doll set, but... But I remember there being something related to that. Thank you very much. Uh, can I get a hole in one doing it this way? Damn close. That's possible. Oh, thanks. Yeah, there. I feel much happier with uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. You will regret mocking me one day, villagers. Maybe not today, but soon. <laughs> soon. So I can't just bounce this around the table. Um, annoyingly, you can't see around that, but I'm fairly sure on the other side of that mug that there's something else. I think what we have to do is bounce it off of this. Nice to see you. That gets us... Oh, sir. Oh, fuck. Oh god, okay. Chicken chase. Oh no, this is a maze. Uh, ah, there is an important quest card the guild for you. Yeah, I bet that there is. Okay, let's Chicken let's just let's go left. <laughs> I'm great at video games. Ah, oh, do it again. Again, another one. Another one. More suffering because I just clearly haven't had enough. I bet you have, lady. After I snap playing this game, you're gonna be hearing me go on a fucking rampage through this town. <sighs> Hate. Chicken Coin chaser. golf. Chicken chaser? I was so optimistic after playing card pairs that like, well, okay, I hated card pairs before, but I'm really good at that now. Maybe I'll be great at coin golf. No. No. <laughs> Not. 
<laughs> Not in the least. It's like terrible pool. Terrible pool, air hockey, something. Oh, good day to you, you, sir. The controls are uber floaty. Uber floaty. Oh, am I gonna shoot it off the tape? Bolt. Yep. 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 Okay, first one. This needs to hit that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The refractory period between rounds is just long enough for the frustration of, yep, there it goes again, to set in just, just a little bit, just a tiny bit of sediment added on. Okay, so, I, I just need to blatantly hit this, not glance in it, hit it. And I still almost went off the table, so I need to go a bit easier on that. I think that should go in, and it'll overshoot. this we hit you and that'll bounce us where we need to be going oh fuck yeah I have this selected but I can't see what I'm doing at all so I bounced it backwards on purpose just so I want to fling it off the table even though that'll cost us a couple of strokes oh wait there's only four holes Oh my god. So we have three strokes to get this in. Three. I don't think that's possible. I... Sincerely don't believe it's possible. Yep, definitely not possible. So this is going to be over par. Just have to figure out how the hell you navigate this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Almost a hole in one, and it's out. So I need to hit it at that angle, slightly softer. So this angle, approximately that hard? No, but that's closer. Oh, thank god that counted. Okay, we have to hit you there-ish, and it's going to go off the table. He's very well thought of in the guild. Very well thought of in the guild. Yeah, chicken chaser. Quite well renowned. Uh, do, 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 like that. Too soft. I really wish there were a power gauge or something to gauge how hard you hit this. How do you declare a crusade in this game? I'm damn near about to declare a crusade on these coins. If it were possible. Well, I mean, it is possible. I could rage quit this and murder the entire town. That's about as close as you get. How dare you play this game as recreation? Okay. Alright. Alright. Not gonna overshoot it. Fine. I hate this hole, but I know how to deal with this. Do that. We go. Go left. Go right. Here we go. Bounce off of this. Go here. Bounce off of this. Don't let the mug cut us off. Would be fine doing that. Do it again. Okay, I have six strokes to get it in. Fuck. <laughs> Just. Ah, there is an important quest card. Guild for you. Is there now? Th thanks, game. Thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll get get right on that important quest card. <laughs> for sure. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Just don't shoot it off the table, Alex. You're gonna be fine. 
Never again. We're done, and we never have to play this stupid game ever again. Oh, thank God. Doesn't the placement of the arrow dictate how much of force being used? Yeah, kind of, but it's really ambiguous. Like, uh, because the perspective angle that you're viewing the coin at and the arrow in relation to the coin varies depending on where it is at the table and the shadows on it and everything else. Ah, oh, new best score. Great. Great. Whisper Hero Doll. Awesome. That's not what I... Why I did it all for this stupid doll and I lost like a bunch of money. Oh, people are in love with me apparently. That guy sure knows how to play table golf. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if the arrow is further from you, it uses more force. But there's not like a, a gauge or a meter that has like 100% force or 0% force. It's not a linear meter. It's completely ambiguous. And the controls are so floaty that you can't just like very precisely aim. And there's no telling. Yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah. Yep, 100%ing life. That is exactly why I wanted that stupid, stupid doll. <laughs> because it's related to some side quest, some optional something or other. That's the only reason why I want anything in this game. Have we run up here? I don't remember if there's anything up here. I don't think there's anything up here. I think we may have run into everything we can run into before we start doing more quests. Is that right? Barrow Fields, Memorial Garden. I think we're done. Cool. Need a good sword to fight beside no, you. I am interested in checking out this shop. Hero. Thank you. Hello. Is this not a shop? Why am I seeing a green quest? Oh, it's a quest marker. Okay, okay. So there's a there's a weapon merchant in town, and we have not gone to them. I don't think they have any weapon or armor that we don't already have. But if they have a plate helmet, I will be very happy. But I'm not seeing them being open on the map. Oh, never mind. You're definitely here. Hey. I'm pleased to serve you. Excellent. You have a hat that's worth my time? Dave's hat. <laughs> it's a Minecraft reference. No. No. Why? 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 This is stupid. Uh, boxes covering his body. One day he was down by a mistaken for a package. Shift off to the northern waste. Never be seen again. The heart above people's heads means that they are attracted to us, or very attracted to us, depending on the size of the heart. If it's a small heart, it means, like, they're attracted. If it's a really big heart, it means that they're, like, in love. If it's a heart with a golden outline, I think it means that we're married to them? No, the, the marriage is two wedding bands. Two golden bands hooked together. Uh, the heart with an outline is that they're ready to be proposed to. I think... I, I haven't played with it in a while. Next delivery, no delivery. Why would I want this? No, I, I get like, haha, it's a reference, but like... Ooh, it's a stupid reference and you should feel bad. Boo. Polygamy? Polygamy is definitely a thing in the game. You can have a different wife or husband in every town you go to. I need a wedding ring, I think. Oh, no, this lady in particular wants to get married. She nice doesn't. To see, you. see, her heart isn't as big as her heart. That's how you can tell, but it's it's hard to tell. People Chicken will get a green chaser. outline around them. Chicken chaser? If you can actually talk to them in order to get married, you just have to present them with a wedding ring and they'd be ready to go. I'm pleased to serve Am I you. planning on romancing anyone? Uh, probably. Just to get into different demon doors and stuff like that, but. It's not at the top of my priority list right now. Fish, carrot, red meat, tofu, flower sack, cider crate. My cousin says fortune. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's really weird that they would make an anniversary version of this game and throw in a Minecraft reference. Like, haha, we're relevant, guys. Like, you don't, you don't need to do that. We just wanted the old. The old game. Uh, yeah, I guess back to the hero skill. We need to level up. Badly. Badly. 
Oh, and maybe play some more car pairs while I'm at it. Who is that out there? Oh, that's the tour guide. I forget if the tour guide actually has a quest involved. If you go on the tour with them, I think they might give you something. Can't quite remember. So let's go... Do you... Do, 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 do. Physical shield, assassin rush. Honestly, um... Multi-strike, leveling this up sounds cool. Let's do that. Not, not keep that. Speed, um, no, Guile. Out of any of these is what I'll want to level. Because it gives us better buying prices, so let's just buy that to level 5. Can I buy speed is nice. Accuracy is nice. And then these, let's get physique. And toughness. That's all I can afford. You're now stealthy enough to use the steal expression. Ah, we can now steal stuff. I'm not going to, because it's not really worth it. But I can now. <laughs> so that's cool. I totally forget if following the tour guide gives any bonuses. There, sir. The tour is now heading for the no servants' quarters. Can use a blue steel expression now? No. S T E A L. As in thieving. We are approaching Maze's statue. Thrilling. Why are you listed in green, my dude? Typically, green is for quest givers. Blue steel would be better. Miles better. Good day. Known as that sword just chase magically appeared in here. Okay, no, this isn't going anywhere. People don't like it when you use magic, it freaks them out. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm trying to go forward with the game of Quake. You want to walk onto this target? You want to walk onto this target? How about this one? We're approaching a scrub in armor. That's, that would not end well for them. <laughs> I haven't settled on... Oh, okay. Protect Orchard Farm or attack Orchard Farm. Hmm, 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 hmm. So attacking it gives more money. Protecting it gives less. But I'm going to protect it and I'm going to boast. Boasts are ways that you can make more money or get more renown out of a quest. Am I going to do it naked? Uh, no. Not that one. Uh, how do I... Without a scratch, take no damage. That's not going to happen. Don't use any weapons or aggressive magic. Requires traditional control scheme. Well, well, fuck you. Make sure no boxes or artifacts are stolen. I think I can do that. Protect guards. Uh, okay. No guards will die? Man, I'll try. Sure, let's try to do this without anyone dying. Nothing getting stolen and no one dying. And while we're here... You're the man for the job. Yes. Yes, I am the man for the job, and it'd be great if people would stop calling me Chicken Chaser. And instead called me Ass Face. Um, ass Face, Pie Master, Saber, Hood, Rune Master, Ranger, Druid, Liberator, Avatar. I'm the Avatar! Yeah, let's go with that one. You gotta deal with it. Um... Hey. hey! Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, sound waves can make your head spin into the sun. I've seen it happen, no? Yeah, man. If only I hadn't lost my mushroom of truth in the guild, I'd be able to show you. Yeah. Hey, hey, if you keep really still, I can see your skeleton. Far out, man. 
You're from the guild, aren't you? I was standing on those stepping stones in that pool where the door talks. Ma Magic mushrooms. They were on blue mushrooms. How may I help you today? We got. It's good to have him around. I forgot about that. I'm glad that they're there to remind me. I gotta go get that blue mushroom to cure the kid who's stripping out. I really do respect the witch who's like, yeah, yeah, sure, I can, I can cure that kid who's tripping out of his mind. Just, uh, go get me more drugs. <laughs> That's how we'll fix this problem. More drugs. Stand up, lady. Uh, I think it's down here or it's in the guild woods. But I'm not seeing a fishing spot, so it might be in the guild woods. No, my one right here. It might be one right here. There's also a fishing spot in the Goodwill, or <laughs> in the Goodwill, Guild Woods that I should go for. Fish, fishing. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Fishing is right, in this game, right on the precipice of just annoying enough and too annoying. I, It's bearable. I typically hate fishing games in most most games. I hate it in Ocarina of Time. I hate it in Majora's Mask. I hate it in this. I hate it in Stardew Valley. I, I hate fishing in most games. It's just like... It's not even rhythm-based minigames. Some are rhythm based, but a lot are just like, so picky, so picky. Who are you? Oh hey, yeah. Hi. Look, could you do me a massive favor? Sure thing, buddy. My name's Cyril. Me yep. and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. I mean, she was a stunner. I saw that blue butterfly and I'm was. like, oh shit, life I is strange. I the trees around <laughs> us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. A I little mean, chocolate maybe legs. Maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? Stick victim. I'm going to take my chances all... Yeah, sure I thing, must Cyril. Know how to... Oh, one more thing. Don't... Yeah, I could pass it off as my own, then she'd fall in love with me, but I don't really get anything out of it besides being a dick, so I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I could. I've done it before in previous playthroughs, but nah. Fish. Yeah, all right. Cool. It's over key. Yep, cool. Almost one third done collecting the silver keys. We're not going to get the last one until way later in the game. Way later in the game. They're pretty cool. Little ways to make you revisit the same environments over and over and over and experience them in different ways. Pretty clever idea, but personally, I remember most of the uh, the chests that they open up aren't really all that impressive or worthwhile. A few are, a couple are. All of these people think I'm attractive because they are smart people who know what they're talking about. Uh, we're fully leveled up. Yeah, let's get out of here. Go fishing and go protect. Orchard R. Won't be disappointed here. Do, do, do. do we need to go back up to Bowerstone for any reason? I don't think so. Uh, there might be something to fish up there. There's a couple of quests that the game wants me to do up there, like the one where we keep on getting uglier and uglier hair and makeup jobs until the guy realize, or lets us know that it was a prank and there was no daughter to marry. I think the reward for that sucks. It might be a silver key though, so 
We're gonna do it. Just like to- oh god. Phase through that fence post, apparently. I'd like to do a little bit of something else before that Ages of Skill potion. Now, earlier, you might remember me making the mistake of drinking an Ages of Might potion without getting our combat multiplier up. It's not bad, but the higher your combat multiplier is, the more XP those little potions will give. Early on in the game, doesn't seem like a big deal, but later on in the game, properly utilizing those are some of the few ways that you can uh, actually continue leveling up. Strength will be mine. Look, I ate the mushroom, Mimi. They all said I'd laugh my niggas off if I ate it, and I like totally did, and like I'm not. So far, it's a big zero of chuckles. Can you? Can I make you laugh? Good for you. Hey! <laughs> a hero that dancey. <laughs> 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 that was hilarious! I don't like her voice <laughs> at all. Uh, what is it? Follow. Hmm, that was. Hey! Oh, he's just. <laughs> I wish that killing you to take the mushroom was an option. <laughs> I got what I came for. Pleasant day to you, sir. Those avatar is quite nice, really. Avatar. Supreme Why you avatar call that then? Because I'm the master of all four elements. God, where, where have you been? Living under a rock for the last ten years? <laughs> I feel safe with him around. You, all right, cool. Uh, he's a fine man. You got I think a small him. chunk of my soul died there. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that piece of my soul has been dead for, you know, over a decade since the first time I played this game. If, if I were a kinder man, I would have just skipped through the conversation, but no, no, I had to suffer through that when I was young, so by God, <laughs> so should everyone else. Uh, there's nothing to fish in Bowerstone Salad. I think that I have one more mushroom to get. Ah, oh, that's better, Free Core. Have you been living inside of an ice, so iceberg for a hundred years? Some work that's down much at better. Farm, much I better joke. I knew that was your two calling. I saw Lady Grey set the opposite quest in the guild yesterday. Maybe I should pick it up. Yeah, but Whispers, maybe don't pick up the opposite just to be a dick You'll to me. You'll need all the experience you can get to beat me. See you later. Bye. Ah. Oh, it sounds like you're trying to defend those poor people at the farm. What if, you know, just as a joke, I helped out the bandits? Yeah, real funny. Real fu fucking hilarious joke. Where get your multiplier combat at higher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know how this works, game. You. Hello, Satan. Pop out, you very motherfucker. Do it. Do it. Good. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I hate- wait, 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 wait. I hate fairies and yeah, I see somebody's dying down there on the minimap. That's their problem. There's something I can dig up here, isn't there? Right here. In this clearly indicated dig spot that seems to, like, scream dig at me, but the game's not letting me dig at it. Maybe it's related to a quest. Never mind. I'll come back later. Pop goes the weasel. Yep. Ah, oh, it's so nice to have a good bow and actually be halfway decent at shooting again. This is. This is how I like to clear out zones. Not just, um, running in and getting my ass kicked repeatedly. Thank you. Thank you, guy standing over my shoulder clapping for me. It's creepy and weird, but thank you. Okay, come on, treat him. 
noise. Bunk. And bump. And we're good. Okay, and no one on this map are traitors or want to talk to me. Where am I going? Orchard Farm, I get. Oh, you want me to go the long way around to Orchard Farm, don't you, game? Yeah, you sure do. Okay, let's do that. The the dying bees kind of sound like a horse. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of weird. <laughs> I, uh, I definitely hear it now that you mention it. Strange. Strange stuff. Is there something I can get by going up there? Yeah, there's a silver key up here. Why did I never go up here? That merchant's gonna die. Just, just for the record, they're gonna die. I am not going to be able to kill a troll with a bow. <laughs> Especially not with the arrows getting stuck in the fence like they're getting... Oh, oh back into the earth. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for taking a few hits for the team there. You. Lights out, you horrible lot thing you just heard, is letting me know that it is 11 p.m. or midnight, one of the two? It's an audio cue so that if you're waiting for one of the specific events to happen in the game at midnight, you'll know. So that you won't just have to be keeping a very close eye on the clock at the type, 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 top right hand corner of the screen. don't have a head. You somehow still have a head. I'm a little... There, there we go. Two heads. Three... Oh, no. No. Oh, good job. I should have been more patient. Three heads. Four... Oh. Four heads. Five heads. Five decapitations. <laughs> Once you start getting better with the bow and arrow, it's easy to get reliably, um, reliable decapitations fairly often. They're pretty awesome. If you're really, really good at aiming early on with some of the crappy bows when your archery skill is still terrible, you can do it, but it feels so cool to do it later on. Now, um, Elixir of Life. Unlike Ages of Skill potion just permanently increases your health it does not matter what your combat multiplier is when you take it do, do, do. we're heading this way so our objectives are nothing gets stolen and no guards die the nothing gets stolen part pretty easy no guards dying part i guess pretty easy this being a harder difficulty mode, I don't know if it'll actually be that easy or not. I know the enemies do more damage to me, but I don't know if that means they do more damage to guards and other NPCs as well. Oh, thank Avo, well. you're here. I thought no one would answer our guild request. I've arranged some more security to back you up, but there are so many bandits that they'll tear my farm apart. I wish we'd never found those damn stones. They brought us nothing but trouble. My wife Jenna won't let them anywhere near the house, so we've left them in some crates in the barn. How they convenient. Must be worth a fortune. They say Lady Grey wants them. I've already lost three farmhands in these raids. What if you just gave me the stones? I'm that sure must they'd be, them be now. safe. I better go inside and look after my wife. She's terrified. <laughs> you go fight them. I'll hide inside. Smart, I guess. I mean, I would too. Okay. 
Up the guards, defend, yada yada, make sure no boxes are stolen, ensure that no guards die. I probably should have just gone with the make sure no boxes are stolen one, because guards die kind of easily. Death to all. There's a head, there's a head. Oh, no, nope, didn't get his head. Right, so long as I'm not stupid, uh, the guards shouldn't take damage. So long as I don't hit them, they should be fine. Look out! More bandits! Because I'm way over equipped and I'm way over leveled for this part of the game. Nope. Oh, Put I got the one in the back. Nope, missed. God damn it! That's exactly what I was talking about. The guards will. Like other NPCs, just jump in front of your arrows. Because... Because why, uh, why be smart about this? Come on. Back here. Back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're bandits approaching, but, like, if you were to fuck off and stand back here so I could shoot them, so you don't die, and nothing gets stolen, and I can get more money out of this, that would be rad. Okay, let's pick him off, and... I... Missed horribly. For justice. All right, fine. I wish I could tell the guards just like go home. I got this. I don't need help. Just leave. Just leave, please. There we go. And so, now whisper shows you've up. You've learned some new moves, have you? I learned some new well, moves. You're not the only one. I hope you've learned how to flourish because that's the only way you're going to get close to me. Really? They put Go off on. teaching you about Try flourishes this long? Flourish. Jesus. Yeah, so a flourish is so you on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. I'm Every time an enemy blocks you, one of your moves, it gives you a flourish, which is an attack which will break through a block Damn. like that. You beat me again! I suppose this quest is yours then. This is a tutorial but you can't quest. Stay lucky forever, farm boy. Farm We're bound boy. to meet again, and I'll be ready. Yep. Goodbye, whispers. That was really easy. I could have said you I would have done that without I taking damage. How grateful we are. I could have said I would so have done that without protection too. I could have so taken all of the posts. Oh well, that's fine. Can't see why there's been so much fuss about those stones. Be glad to see the back of them myself. Give them to me. Plenty of money to someone though. I'll make Me. sure to tell everyone about you. We need heroes like you around. Yep. She's whispers fine. The whole like rival antagonist thing you have going on with her doesn't really feel legit at all. Check the guild for more quests. Yeah. Like, she's never really that much of a threat. Her brother, Thunder. Now, Thunder is a competent pain in the ass. He is a good antagonist. A good rival. Let's dig up this grave. Get a dress out of this grave. Something real creepy went on there. Marna Jennings. Stole your dress, Marna. I'm <laughs> sorry? Okay, made me do it. This is fucked. I could break in there, I think. Wait, 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 wait. This goes to the Great Wood Lake, and the Great Wood Lake I could fish at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could also fish in this tiny puddle. Because apparently there's something in here. The game almost seems to like be intentionally torturing you with the fishing bits. I know it's not that way, but it feels like, oh, I'm doing so well, and then snapped away. Oh, I'm doing so it snapped away. Hallelujah. Okay, okay, okay. Fishing a dolphin up in the puddle. Might as well be. What is this? An elixir of life? Yeah, just, just an incredibly potent magical potion that are incredibly hard to find and make you overall healthier. Not like anything incredibly valuable or anything. Nah, no, just, just hanging out in a puddle. 
on a farm for no reason. <laughs> hey, you know you have the key to immortality back in your puddle? Oh, really? Nah, well, who cares? Not that important. Chicken. Just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the chicken kicking competition chickens, we can't kick that far. Normal chickens, we can kick way further. Way further. As you just saw. Ah, now there is a fishing spot here. Yep. Let's fish a fish up in here. Click, 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 click. Unclick. Hmm. You know, with one of those programs that, like, click a thousand times per millisecond, you could probably set up, uh, set up one of those macros so that you just win all of these immediately. That sounds kind of nice, actually. I... Sometimes exploits take away from a game, but I don't feel like that... I don't feel like the fishing mechanic really adds that much to the game. Besides just a time sink and a source of... Tiny frustrations. Just micro frustrations. Yeah. <laughs> before I download an auto clicker. Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, the temptation was real to do that, but because this was a console exclusive, unless you've got one of those special controllers, you couldn't do that, and even those didn't work that well. It's really not that big of a deal to me now. But, Jesus, I used to get so mad as a kid at that. It's like, oh, I'm so close, I'm just gonna keep hitting A, and it's halfway down again. Or like, oh, I failed. Start the whole thing over again. Look at the water. Where to fish around here? Nope. Where to fish? Fish, 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 fish. We go up here. No, I have minimap back on. Oh, later on in the uh, later on in the game, there are hobs on this island, and there's a combat multiplier challenge here. I remember that. It might be after we leave and come back, actually. It might be really soon. Silver keys. Nine out of thirty is pretty good. I I think I can get up to twenty something before I hit the epilogue. I might be able to get all thirty before hitting the epilogue actually. That number might go up after we hit the lost chapter uh content. I do not remember. Oh the treasure clues. So the treasure clues. Treasure clues are great little things. Let's see. Fail raid. Not in the books. Where the fuck is it? Items? Treasure clue. If you find all the treasure clues and follow them, you get a magical item. The magical item is a frying pan. It's a really good frying pan, but it's a frying pan. It's a frying pan that lets you put a lot of augments on it and ends up being one of the better weapons in the game. It is far from being the best weapon in the game, but it's pretty good. Hey, we were just at Greatwood Awake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll head back out this way anyhow. And... Hop cave, no dark wood. 
might have something I can fish up at Darkwood. I don't think so, though. I think that in terms of fishing, that we're good for the time being. Yeah, did TF2 come out before Fable? No, it came out way after, didn't it? The frying pan uh, joke thing is pretty old. Fable didn't uh, didn't do a lot of new things. It just did a lot of old things very well. It's very tropey, but it captures those tropes very appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Let's go with this, a little bit of that, a little bit of uh, uh, and you're dead. Yep, yep. Now you're dead. No! Now you're dead? Yes, now I got the. No, this guy just lives forever, apparently. Fucking shiny and chrome. I think you can tell that they're getting better based on the weapons they have. If you look carefully, their pick looks a lot like my master weapon. Whereas his sword looks like some of the crappy uh, starting weapons. Tougher bandits have better looking equipment. Okay, let's go kill that troll. Oh, yeah. Fable 2004. God damn. Ah, Gotta build that combat multiplier. Slowly. But surely. Man, these merchants are doing a great job of not dying. I would probably be dead if I just stood there as long as they have and tried tanking these shots. Which, uh, to answer my previous question, probably means that NPCs do not receive the increased damage that I do. Oh, it was a guard. So, who knows. But I think that I'm the only one that receives additional damage. I'm pleased to serve you. Let's see, do you have a Master Cleaver? Nope, you don't have what I want. That's a pity. Darkwood's a dangerous place, hero. Yep, Darkwood is a dangerous place. That's why I already cut through it. So I don't have to go through it as much anymore. I will, though, because the quests are going to drag me back there. Got nothing to fish up. Nothing to fish up. Fish, fish. Fish, fish. Yeah, I think we're good. It's so satisfying just popping off their head and ending what would otherwise be a 10, 10 second, 15 second fight and just like, gone, done. Oh, this is empty. This is suspicious in that it's empty. I guess I cleared this out permanently? Huh. Some part of me thought that you had to re-clear this out every time you came through here. Okay. Go down to the Great Wood Colus Gate. Now the game's not actually dragging me down here, it's more me doing that than anything else. You want an act of great evil committed in front of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. will punch you to death, bees! Here are my fists. <laughs> it is a legit strat that you could just go around punching things in this game to death, but the amount of damage you're ever going to do with just your fists is never going to be very substantial. Even if you max out your physique, it's still not going to be enough to really make it worth your time. Your horse be lives matter. They're like horse flies, but 
way bigger. These things are horrifying. They're, they're like, you know, this big. These things in real life would be very capable of murdering the ever-loving hell out of you. And there'd be very little that you could do about it. Uh, uh, wasp that big, is. its carapace Spit. would be thick. Big, we think big. we can do a special offer for you, sir. In fact, it'd be sort of miraculous if they could fly at all. Alright, I don't want any of the stuff Farmers you're selling. Stuff Weird, device. weird devices, they say. Yep, very weird devices. Um, where are we going? Rose Cottage. There may be something... I don't throw the mouse. There may be something to get here. I don't recall... Doesn't look like there's anything to do here. So okay, let's let's play the game the way the game wants to be played. Let's teleport back using our guild seal. Pick up another quest. Actually, Bowerstone, we have a number of quests that we need to do. So let's pop in here, turn in some more books, and maybe do the baldy beardy quest. I think we have enough mushrooms. Oh no, we need to we need to go do Cyril's thing. So let's 